Hey everybody, welcome back to season three of Road Trippin' with Steve. We're just pulling into Fanuc right now, and this is this is a new thing for us, not only because I've never been to Fanuc before, but the parking lot is like entirely full. So we're here, we got here early, but, and we didn't have any traffic because apparently all the cars in Michigan are parked here. So once we find a nice parking spot where we can fit this behemoth, we will see you inside. John Tui. Welcome to Fanuc. Thank you, sir. This is my first time here. I haven't been here before. You've never been to Fanuc. Never been to Fanuc. Well, let me give you a great tour and hopefully we can uh, give you some good bits to go home with today. Sweet, let's take a look. All right. So John, the Robo Drill is seriously one of my favorite machines. I know you guys are really known for your robots, but the Fanuc Robo Drill, I like to think of you know, when every time I go to an advanced manufacturing facility, I always, I'm always tickled to see in some dark corner, they have a Bridgeport knee mill. You know, can you, can you adapt a Bridgeport to be a CNC machine and have it run MT Connect? And you can, but it's easier if you buy the robo drill because that's essentially what it is. Money at the end of the day. <laughs> so our robo drill product has been around for just over 50 years. And here what we're doing, we call this our PPM, a paint production cell. Okay. But this is really where Fanuc lives. We've got our machine control platform here, which is our top of the line 35i. We've got a robot in the middle. So we're using the robot to tend both machines. It's connected to both machines. We've got the Renishaw and Quater in back. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're milling, drilling, milling, drilling, and tapping. That's and we're using these parts in the production of our paint systems as you see behind us. But when you look at everything we do here in a holistic view, I can pull data using MT-Link I, Fast Data, and Fast OPC, ZDT on the robot. We can give you the minute details of what your operation is doing just by pulling data. And connected smart manufacturing is the future. It's plug and play. Yep. Very cool. So I'd like to welcome you to our MH lab. I'd like to introduce you to our engineering manager, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Hi. Jessica, Steven. Steven. Steven's with AMT. Jessica, so tell me what you do here at Fanuc and what got you here. Um, so I am the engineering manager of our general industries applications group. I actually started here about 17 years ago. I went to a job fair and I met Fanuc. And to be honest, I actually never did any robotics. I knew right. I didn't want to do automotive. So this was a really unique company for me to find out about and um, explore. Wow, <laughs> this is a lot. You know, it seems like everybody I know that works at Fanuc has been here for multiple decades. There, so. Yep, yep. All right, so this is our CRX. So uh, this is one of our models that are collaborative. And when I mean collaborative, it means- This one's the fully collaborative This is robot. fully collaborative. It's in the middle of our lab. We've actually have this tablet teach pendant to make it really easy to use. You, anyone should be able to program right. this robot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'll just show you real quickly how um, we can program this robot moving from different points. So we'll just create a very brand new program. Call it whatever you want. Steve's program. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll just hit okay here. For traditional programming, there's a lot of words, right? Yeah. Well, this is an icon based program nice. so that each of the icons for, tells you what it what it's going to do. For visual people. For visual, yep, exactly. So it's just a timeline. You just click and drag. So if you want to move the robot, there's what we call freehand teaching. Okay. Now, you just need to make sure that this is green. Well, it's not, so we just need to hit reset here. And right. when that's green, you can move the robot. No way, so I can just... Just move the robot wherever you want it to go. That is so cool. It moves so easily, too. Exactly. And there's actually a way, if you want it, if you need more precision, 
then you can change. You're adding, yeah. you're, you're changing, you're changing the, uh, the resistance. Exactly. And so now, now <gasps> let's say you stop here and then we click and drag. This is a joint position. Okay. Now it just taught that point. So if you want to go ahead, it's still green. Move it to another position. Move it to light. I want to see how easy it is on light. Light. We'll go hunt. You there can you one go. hand move that. That's so <laughs> cool. Now we have three positions taught. Okay. Let's go ahead and play it. And now the robot will run through each position that you just move, moved it to. Now, does the speed of the robot change as we get move away from it and closer no, to this, it? No, there's no sensors right here. Um, okay. Like visual sensors. There's um, sensors in the robot, so okay. if you want to hit it, it'll stop. Amazing. And then it, it detected that force. There, there are sensors in the arm itself. What if it's pinned somebody against a wall? Can I push it out of the way? There's a push. Yeah. It does push out yeah, of the way. Yeah, there's a push. Yeah, because if you're pinched, That's you don't want yeah, you, you don't want to be able to get out. Exactly. Currently, the speed is just gonna, going to be what we have it set to and programmed to. Right now, we have 35 percent. So. That's cool. Yeah. What's it look like at 100 percent? All right. Can you take it past 100 percent? Well, right now, that's I said it. So let's see what happens. Wow. Do it again. <laughs> did I stop it? You did stop it. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, could you use this teach pendant on an older one of the older cobots like so this? So this teach pendant is available on is uh, available on not just Collaborative or the green CR robots. But even are, the industrial. We are, we are rolling this out with the industrial yellow robots wow. too. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Jessica. Yeah, you're this welcome. This is great. Yeah. As we come in, I'd like to introduce Paul Aiello. Oh, hey, Paul. Paul is the director Paul, of our yeah. CERT education. Oh, good, Steve good Lamarck to meet you. AMT. Yes, yeah. sir. So what would you like to know about education? I would like to know how to get my hands on one of these, because seriously, I'd love to have one of these back at the office. We have a, um, uh, a manufacturing test bed where we have a small pocket NC. It's a uh, desktop five axis CNC machine, nice. but we're in need of a, a good robot. So how would, how would somebody get one of these and what is it capable of? Well, these are real industrial robots, some of uh, FANUC's smallest robots. And what we've done here, this is what we call our educational package. So we use real industrial robots for education, and we have them in more than 1,500 schools around the country. So in your application is exactly what our industry customers are looking for, our school partners are looking for, is how do we take that five-axis CNC machine and marry it up to a robot? How do we do the menial tasks of loading and unloading machines with robotic automation? So it's exciting stuff. And it is exciting. Um, and I can only imagine how exciting it must be being a young student in a middle yeah. school, high school, what have you, and seeing a, a piece of industrial equipment being wheeled in. In addition to the robot programs that we use for uh, education working with schools, we also do the same on our CNC platform. So a CNC machining simulator allows students to work right at a desktop with a virtual machi machine. They can power this up as a lathe or a mill and then oh, wow. they can create the entire program virtually. They can see it, the part being cut in this piece. I think it's a chess piece that they set up the program to run. Right. But if they try and hog off too much metal or they crash the machine, you'll hear the sound. You'll see the chips flying in the video and you'll see it. So they get a real experience of how, the, how to set up the CNC controller without having to do that first on a real machine, yeah. or potentially causing damage. Right. I think it's really cool, though, that even though they're not working, they're not. There's no risk of of damaging an expensive machine. This is still an actual fan and controller. Oh, absolutely. Though, right? Yeah. And That's everything incredible. you do on here is exactly the same way that you would set it up on a very expensive machine tool. Mike Chico, how's it going? President of Road FANUC. Tripping with Steve. Yes, sir. This is my first time here at FANUC. It's been an Welcome. incredible time. The way I understand it, FANUC started in the 50s, and in the 80s, you guys uh, teamed up with GM. That's correct. I mean, we're here in Detroit. Why That's not, right. You know? Yeah, starting in the 50s, Dr. Esanaba was, uh, was uh, an employee of Fujitsu, uh, which is where the name came from. And then, as you mentioned, in the 80s, in 1982, 
uh, a team of engineers from Fanuc in Japan, as well as a group of, of engineers from General Motors got together and we, jo we joined a f uh, joint venture called General Motors Fanuc, GMF. That's awesome, I and, had no uh, idea. For the first 10 years of our existence here in North America, we were GMF Robotics, General Motors Fanuc as a joint venture. That's awesome, that, that explains why you're one of, one of AMT's favorite members. <laughs> I hope so. Speaking of membership, is Whoa, is that Bill Herman? Do you happen to know Bill Herman? Wow. Hey guys. <laughs> what are you doing here? Finishing up my tour. I'm okay. a little behind the group, I guess. <laughs> What's going on? This has been amazing. Great. This is a really awesome facility. How about it? Yeah, Mike uh, spent some time with us, showing us around, and, and it's perfect for AMT because FANUC has been a tremendous uh, educational partner mm -hmm. to the Student Summit, and to technology in general aligns with yeah. the growth in our membership, the growth in our IMTS trade show, so. The closing place, of right the time. skills gap. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yes, I was able to tour Bill around this morning. I was surprised that it was your first time uh, here at Fanuc. I'm uh, glad I'm not the only one. That's right. <laughs> I've been <laughs> to Hoffman Estates, but this first time I've been up here. To, so. to, to Michigan. Well, Bill, it's awesome yeah. seeing you outside of the office. And yeah, Mike, thank you so much. For, thank you for uh, being here. For I'm glad taking we were part around. of the road trip. Again for the day. Absolutely. Terrific. I hope Sounds this great. isn't, you know, I hope, hope I come back soon. That's this right. <laughs> sweet place. <laughs> Well, kids, that wraps up FANUC, and uh, fortunately, I'm not leaving empty-handed. With all their awesome robots, they actually, they actually let me leave with some, so I'm pumped. Uh, this has been a great season. Let's see what's next before we wrap things up, though. Come on.